And welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of the Cubato Kids Podcast with, of course, Deviano. What's up, everyone? Hi, man. What do you do? Vaden. <laughs> what up? Vaden. Mason. Mason. He's having technical difficulties right now, and uh, and our special guest today is me, Deviano Vaden Mason, father. Emiliano Spata Quevedo Jr. Emiliano Spata Quevedo Jr. What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your boy's father, Z- Emiliano. Zeke Kavita Jr., as my son mentioned uh, quite a second ago. Um, here having a little Corona Seltzer, purple, celebrating the new year, 2021. Happy speaking New Year to everybody out there. Speaking of 2021. Let's get it. 2021. We are in go, a new era. We're going to go around and saying what we are looking forward to the new year. So we'll start off with... Hi, man. What I'm looking for towards the new year is that the Lakers will go to the NBA Finals again and get their NBA title. Get another NBA title. And the Warriors will not. Which title? Total. If they win this year, how many titles will it be total? I don't know that they won against the Heat and they won against the. Wait, did they win? Wait, did they win against the Spurs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they won. So it's. Oh, I don't think. All right, Meliana, you go. It'll be their 18th championship if they win. All right, Meliana, you go. Okay, something I'm looking forward to in 2021. See, let me interrupt you real quick. Yeah. Go ahead, Dad. Go ahead. How you could be a gentleman from San Jose. Your favorite football team is the Seattle Seahawks. And your favorite basketball team is the L.A. Lakers. Please explain that, sir. Okay, so how I started off of being a Seahawks fan was I was watching the Rams against Seahawks back in back like five years ago, and I wanted to be a Seahawks fan. When you were a little kid. And, yes. And then I told my dad if I can be a Seahawks fan. And he was like, no. But then after that, I started, like, wanting all this cool stuff. And then for my birthday, I get lots of Seahawks stuff. And I just, like, will sit in all the players on there. And how I became a Lakers fan was I had a Shaquille in New Jersey. Since, and I was wearing it since I was eight years old. And um, I've been watching the Lakers. I watched them against Utah, against Memphis, and against um, the Warriors, too. So, yeah, that's why I'm both Lakers and Seahawks fan. All right. Well said. Sorry. All good. All right. Best Something sense. that. Me, I am looking forward to in 2021 is <coughs> excuse me, uh, starting to come back to normal. Of course, everyone knows the vaccine for COVID has been released and it's in the learning stage right now. Um, or not learning stage, what is it called? The uh, testing stage. Um, mm. So, hey, Dad, I have a question. If the COVID vaccine does come out, are you going to make us take it, or are you going to make us – it's going to be up to us? Uh, no, I'm not going to make it take it. I want to see how everyone else reacts to it, and then that'll be mom and dad's decision. I'm not going to take it until the maybe first three waves go through and see how it works for them. Oh, you son of a gun! 
All right, Mason, Dad, what are you looking Dad, forward you can, to in 2020? Hey, Vaden, you go then. Um, I want I want to go on more fishing trips with Grandpa. Okay, Mason, how about you? He's uh, losing focus, asking me who's a candy bar is out here. He should be back online in a second. It's mine. Cam here. Answer the question. What will I look forward to in 2021? Yes. No more COVID. That's not going to happen, but okay. What about you, Dad? Uh, my biggest uh, thing that I'm looking forward to in 2021 is every member of my family having better health, better success in whatever they want to have success in, and for them to be happy with their lives and, you know, what whatever fulfills them, I want them to do that and be able to uh, live, you know, make money off what they love. That's my goal. Now you stole my answer. Okay. So um, as some of you guys know that we did a Q and a on our Instagram, if you don't know our Instagram, follow us at Creator Kids Podcast. Um, there were uh, four questions. There are four questions that people ask us, and we're going to go around asking those four questions. First question is, do you like soccer? The question was from at MTRQ underscore 08. That was me. So that was we'll, me. We'll start off with uh, Father. Mason, they're not supposed to know. It's, it's, it's supposed to be from an anonymous person from outside of our world. Thanks, Mason. Okay, Dad, you go. You start. Welcome. Okay, is soccer cool? Well, we love that. my answer to that is I respect soccer a lot because you have to be a very, very well-conditioned athlete to play that game and a very um, – you know, skilled player because you got to know, you got to have touch, you got to have stopping ability, you got to have burst ability, stamina, strength, toughness. It's a very tough sport. Not a lot of people can play real soccer. Okay. I'm the last. Is that the question? Yeah, the question is do you like soccer? For me, I, I, like, I like soccer. soccer. No. I do not. But yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really like soccer either. Miliano, do you like soccer? Yes or no? Faden? No, it's boring. Jason? Yes and no. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, our next question is... Wait, I want to hear Mason's explanation for yes and no. Okay, Mason. For well, for my yes, oh, well, for my no is some of the players they don't get touched and they just flop around thinking they got hurt. And then my yes is because I used to play soccer, so yeah. Okay. So you don't like the flopping, but you played it, so. You feel some camaraderie with it. Meaning you feel attached to it in some way. Yeah. All right. Mm. Our next question that we got was from... The question is, what is one thing we all dislike? It's what is from something... South San Jose Fiker. No, it's not. It's from. Hold on, let me get their full at. Oh, you son of a gun! It's from Andros the Great. 
Okay, Dan. Oh, I know that person. Very, Andrew the very... Great, 408, ask us, what is one thing that we all dislike? Very, very good man, Andros the Great, 408. Happens to know him personally. Uh, been with me through many battles. I was in his car. It's very fast. In life and uh, on the gridiron and in the streets. And uh, shout out to Andros the Great, 408. All right. Uh, so what is one thing that we all can agree to dislike? Ah. Well, the easy answer is COVID. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we really want to get inside the brains of the behind the scenes of the Cuvada Boys podcast show. Um, I would say just knowing my sons that one thing they don't all collectively like is being told that they have to do their responsibilities as far as chores and getting themselves ready and stuff like yeah. that. Do it. Yeah, okay. I guess that's kind of true, yeah. Can I go? Nobody likes being told what to do. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom line. But unless you're the ruler of your own country or business, you're going to have to be told what to do. All right. That's a pretty good answer. We can all agree with that. Okay. Our uh, uh, next question is we're going to do it. And all of it is from one indi side note here. individually. The two, we have an uncle and nephew that are having a bit of a disagreement here. All right. Everyone who uh, can't see, our dogs are going at it right now. All right. The oh, next okay, question sorry. comes from Sealed with the Keats. Uh, and the question is, who has inspired you in life? We'll start off with Emiliano. Which one? Inspired me in life? Who has inspired you in life? Um, I don't really I don't know. You want us to come you want us to come back to you? If I had to say one person, I would have I would have to say mom. She goes through a lot almost every freaking day. She still gets lost so. I'd have to say mom. Okay. What about you, Dad? Um Everybody I come across in life inspires me in, in their own unique way. From the bum that I meet while I'm driving to work, you know, at a stop sign, out there in the cold. Uh, I'm in my car, nice heater, warm. He's out there, probably wet, cold. And that inspires me to be grateful, but also to, you know, uh, be mindful that, you know, we can do better in this world to help everybody out. And then right up to the, you know, people most with the most power in the world inspire me. But, uh, Yeah, I have to say, you know, just people in general, people who fight and do right and do what's right in the world and help people and, and uh, you know, help animals and uh, people who, you know, use their own time to make somebody else's life improve. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that inspire me. Okay, yeah, that's um, 
a great answer, Dad. A fantastic answer. All right, who wants to go next? Mason or Vaden? All right, oh, Mason. Um, Mason. Oh, Vaden, go. Vaden, go. Vaden, go. Me. So someone go. Person who inspires me is someone. Someone who inspires me, right? Yeah. Oh, um, the first person to ever make chicken wings. <laughs> Good one. Okay. Mason, you go. I think, I think, they're, I think their family comes from the... The person that has now, inspired me is uh, mom. Yeah. Mom. All right for mom. All right, yeah, then. Elaborate on why. Can't just say mom and yay mom. Come on. Why does mom inspire you? Because she does a lot for us. Like, she pays money for us to play baseball. No, she yeah, doesn't. she does. Mom says we do. Mom says we do it for free because she's on the board or something. It's not exactly true, but she does help out a lot, and that helps us. Um, you know, helps us get into the league uh, a little bit easier than others. Let's just say that. Hi, man. Why'd you leave? All right. That's a good answer and a good explanation from everyone. And there is one last question. By one the last way, qu that was a great question from Seal with the Keats. That's my dog. Shout out to Seal with the Keats. No. The, la the last question comes from Sharks Champion, and he says, "If you can change your name to anything, what would it be?" Start off with Vaden. So I could change my name to anything? Yeah. Oh, um. Conor McGregor, so I could whip Jake Paul's ass. So Conor McGregor would be na first name. So I could would be middle name. <laughs> and whoop Jake Paul's ass would be last name? I guess so. Just so I can get it straight on the. Uh, License plate. I mean, uh, your license when it comes out. Three years. Dad, what about you? I always like crap bag. Uh, crap bag. If you Why? If you get the reference, yeah, then U A G. Mm. Yeah. All right. No, I I wouldn't change my name for the world. You wouldn't? I would not. I'm proud of my name. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Same with me. I wouldn't change my name because my name is like very unique and. I don't think anyone else has it. All right, Mason, you go. Which is also could be said said the same thing as crap bag. Yeah, I guess so. The name that I would choose is Connor McDavid, so I can be the fastest skater in the NHL. <laughs> that, I don't think that's how it works, Mason. Yeah, it is. Just because you change your name to, to Connor McDavid doesn't mean you're going to be in the NHL. Yeah, it is. How about Killer Cool Kid? 
You wouldn't want to change it to that? No. Okay. No, it's worth a shot. <laughs> All right, Miliano. You can be the, can be the best killing cool kid ever. Who kills? Coolly. Yes, Daddy. You kill in a cool manner. E, do you want to answer so the question? Ask me the question. If you can change your name to anything, what would it be? If you could rip yourself from the game for three seconds and tell us what you could change your name to anything would be, what would it be? I wouldn't change my name at all. Why? Because I like my name. Why? I just like my name. But, like, <laughs> give me a reason. That's <laughs> I, I was meant to give the name. I was the firstborn, so I got the name of the Leon. That's but, how it works. That is the how it works. I want to know why you like it so much and why you wouldn't change it. It's a family name. I'm going to carry it on. I like it. No, nah, so, you're I'm speaking thinking. specific. That's yeah. what I like. What about Jaime? Jaime, if you can change your name to anything, what would it be? Change your name to anything? Yeah. Russell Wilson. Russell, oh. Why Russell Wilson? <laughs> the greatest Russell Wilson of all time. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. If I could divert all your attention to Emiliano's screen for a second. Yeah, he's not even doing anything besides watching TV. That's cool. You could do the. You could. You could. You could do the podcast and watch them at the same time. Who's winning? Yeah, I am. I, whenever, somebody, whenever, no, whenever, whenever someone calls on my name, I'll go. All right, Miliano. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, what's up? I want you to talk for 200 hours about why 2 plus 2 equals 4. Uh, uh, 2 plus 2 equals 4 because if you take your you, – you see your fingers right here? Everyone take your fingers. If you're watching the podcast or everything, yeah, you see two fingers. And then you just add two, two more fingers. So do one. See one more finger, one more finger. And then one more finger again. And then if you count, that's one, two, three, four fingers. So you just nice. no, E. You you have the thumb too. You have to hide the thumb. Just do this, not like this, because then that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Freak. But E, I want the you to talk about. not a finger. But E, I want you to really. I want you to talk about the next topic that we're gonna do. Any topic I want, right? Yes. Any. Any. Okay. okay. Oh gosh. Me and my dad, or our dad, have our upcoming last week of fantasy football. Whoever wins this week takes the ship and is the champion. Cuvedo's first ever fantasy football. I like this subject. Who do you guys think is going to win? Go. Start off with Vaden. By, by the way, way just to clarify, I'm, I'm up by two points going, going into the going, going into the, the last. Week. Oh my god! Um, I think Dad's gonna win because he has two of his best players out. I only have one of my best players out. He has Patrick Mahomes and Dalvin Cook out. Hey, so hey, you went out, bro. Oh. Time to go back. Time to go back. So, oh, so what is uh, uh what's going on over there, dude? Who do you think's gonna win? Uh, I believe that uh, your speed's gonna win. I knew you were gonna say that, Galica. I knew it, dude. You know what, dude? It's gonna be you and me next year, dude. In the championships, and I'm gonna have Russell Wilson. I'm gonna have DK Mecca. I'm gonna have all the Seahawks. Dad's gonna, gonna get all the bad players. All right, here we go. So my 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 thing on this. So yeah, Milano is is mo- missing um, Patrick Mahomes and Dalvin Cook, but 
he did get more points last week, but Dad does have a fifty-three percent chance of winning. So it's still in any it's still anyone, like anyone could have a good game, you know. So I'll, but I'll I, like this. Oh go ahead, sorry. I, I'm gonna say dad's gonna win. Everyone watching this podcast, I just want you to know that everyone's doubting me because two of my best players are out. But guess what? You're gonna lose. That's what. That's what. That's okay. what. That's okay. what. That's I'll tell you that. this much. I'll tell you this much. The you put people in for the projected. They're projected to get 17, 16, whatever, and then sometimes they just get have a bad game and they don't get a lot of points and you lose. Happened to me plenty of times. Coming in, projected 140. Other guy projected 120. Then the other guy beats me 150 to 115. It's a crap shoot, but it's going to be fun. Yeah. And it's also me and Nino in the and to whoever takes third place. And all right, guys. Well, uh, before, my guys before we are. end this, before we end this uh, very very interesting podcast, uh, let's do our uh, our our. This is the final week of NFL. Um, let's do our locks and our upset for this week. I'll go first. My lock is the Ravens winning. I have that as my lock. Ravens are gonna win. And then my upset is the Niners over the Seahawks. Okay, I'll go next. So my lock is, as he just said, the Ravens winning, and then my upset is the the Niners over Seattle. My upset, uh, my, my lock yeah. is um <laughs> my e my lock is gonna be uh Tampa Bay versus Atlanta. Tampa Bay winning. And then my upset is going to be uh, the Giants beating Dallas. That's not an upset. They're both the same record. I don't care. It's an upset because the Giants suck. Okay. All right. Yeah, that division, actually, there's, actually, no, there's no really – Actually, I'm going to – favorites. Yeah, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to change my, my lock. It's going to be the Giants over the, over the, the, the Cowboys. And then my upset – is going to be the same thing. Niners or Seahawks. I'm a your turn. I, my lock is the Colts over the Jaguars, and my upset is the Niners over the Seahawks. Hannah, what's your lock and what's your upset? My lock is that uh, Seattle beats uh, the Niners, and my upset is probably. Hmm. Yeah. Probably the Jets. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Chargers over the Chiefs. Okay. Good, good pick because they have their starters out. Very good pick, man. No, it, it is a good pick. That's a good pick. <laughs> that was last week, bro. Oh, yeah. Miliano, what about. So. Wait, I didn't get I didn't say mine. Yeah, that's not yeah. Topic. He, Dad, say yours. Dad, say yours. What the heck, dude? What the heck? Hey, Dad. Wow, Dad, you just forget your dad like that? You just you just forget dad like that, Debbie? No, I didn't. Like that? So, I was just gonna tell you something, Milano. Chill. I am going to, as I usually do, go against the grain. I don't believe in upsets. I'm going to pick two locks that I know is going to come through. First one, Jaime took it from me. It is Colts over Jacksonville. That was Zayden. Faden, sorry. That was Zayden. I'll give you the credit on that. Stone cold, lock it up. Bet the house lock of the week. Colts over Jags. And my other stone cold lock of the week. Bet all your money down on this game, ladies and gentlemen, because CJ Beffitt and the San Francisco 49ers will go and win out this season, beating 
the newly crowned NFC West champion, Seattle Seahawks. Lock it up. Lock it in. Okay, so Dad, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna say this. So I'm changing it. My lock is gonna be the Buccaneers winning. I'm gonna stop. Please don't. And, and I'm gonna say my uh my upset is gonna be the Jaguars beating the Colts. Okay. Well, the Jaguars okay. did beat the Colts week one, so they could. So they. Yeah, so they could the, beat Jags, them again. the Jags. The Jags like the Colts were getting ready. The Colts in the first game, they weren't like have the chemistry they have now. The defense is a lethal as it is. It's gonna it's gonna be a route. That's still a good upset though. You never know what's going to happen. That's true. Now, if I did have to pick an upset, if I did have to pick an upset, it would probably have to be the Jets versus – oh, God, who are they going again? Is it Washington? No. It's uh... – Patriots. Jets, Patriots. I'd have to go that one. Jets are looking strong these past couple games. All right. All right, so I'm I'm writing my my uh, pick down. Juliano. What's up? Want to do the uh, outro? All right, I'll do the outro. Well, ready. everyone, that's it. That's well, unless it. you have something else to talk about, Dad. No. There's a million things we could talk about. Talk about the atom. The I got a topic. The uh, fact that we only know, we know more about the uh, universe than we do our own ocean. We could talk about uh, the soul, the human body. What is it made of? So many things, gentlemen. This world is a wonderful uh, existence, and we're blessed to be in it. And I'm in it every day. And uh, that's pretty much all I got to say. Thanks for having me on. Your podcast, it was an honor. And uh it will be the last time. And I hope you I wish you guys great success in your future endeavors. Okay. Brother. <laughs> All right, Meliana, let's close it out. All right, well everyone, thank you for listening to season two, episode two of this Cubedo Kids podcast. It was definitely an interesting one. Not a lot of uh, cussing in this one as there usually is, but of course our dad was in it, so we didn't do much. But um, (laughs) thank you guys for listening. I got here, Dev. All right, see you guys next week. Happy New Year. Uh, Happy 2021. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. Vaden. Bye. I got, and of course, we can't forget.